So as many of you know by now, PewDiePie has hit 100 million subscribers and he's celebrated. And in his celebration, he talked about a new sponsorship with Honey, as well as donating $50,000 to the Anti-Defamation League. And everybody freaked out. And at first I was giving PewDiePie the benefit of the doubt, but my opinion has somewhat changed after doing some research. So let's talk about it. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take a look at different things going on in the YouTube community or pop culture or just in the world in general, try to see what lessons we can learn from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you're not yet, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. And before I jump into this, like usually I'll like tell you about, you know, some other stuff I got going on, but I wanna shine a spotlight on a fellow creator named Paul Grossclose. He just released a documentary on PewDiePie's road to 100 million subscribers. And this kid is just one of the best editors out there and his content is amazing. So like, go check this out. If you're here cause you're a PewDiePie fan, go watch Paul Grossclose's Road to 100 million subscriber documentary. It is absolutely phenomenal. Go follow him too. He does a lot. He does a lot of great content that a lot of other creators aren't doing, and it's just a matter of time until this kid blows up. So I'm gonna link him down in the description and down in the pinned comment below. All right. So yeah, why is everybody mad at PewDiePie? Like <laughs> something I've noticed for a long time is like PewDiePie is this golden child, right? Like there are there are many people out there. Not a lot of them, but there are many people out there, like I, I would classify like PewDiePie, Shane Dawson, like, you know, even though they get some backlash, like they are always going to be fine, right? So when I saw that people were freaking out on PewDiePie over this, I'm like, ah, what's, what's going on? So as I mentioned in the intro, PewDiePie donated $50,000 to the Anti-Defamation League. And I started just seeing people like freaking out about this, like, a lot of times people won't go after PewDiePie. They will defend PewDiePie until the day they die. So I'm like, what is what is the big deal? So I started looking into it and PewDiePie actually just released a statement, which I'll read in a second. But I was like, why are people so upset? So the ADL, the Anti-Defamation League, they've done a few things in the past. Like, so their, their overall goal or mission is, you know, anti-bullying. They don't want, you know, you know, they, they want to protect people, right? But as many of you who follow my channel, you know, like, like overprotecting, like that is not the way to go about it, all right? We need to have people with different opinions, we need to have conversations and everything like that. So anyways, ADL back in the day, like just, you know, within the last couple of years when, remember the Pepe the Frog meme got all big and they started like aligning it with the alt-right and like ADL was one of the main voices out there saying, yo, this is a symbol of hatred, this is hate, da 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 It's like, no bro, it's a meme, all right? Well, also, um, I saw another creator bring up this tweet from, uh, I believe it's the CEO of ADL, where they were like petitioning to get Disney to sever ties with PewDiePie and things like that, because, you know, it was during one of PewDiePie's controversies. So like this organization that PewDiePie just donated to, they were trying to harm PewDiePie. So when I saw people bringing this up, I'm like looking at, it, I'm like, ah, this was two and a half years ago, okay? like. People grow, people change. I don't really know if I'm gonna use that, all right? So anyways, a lot of people were upset and I'm starting to understand a little bit more why. But before I jump into that, let me read you the statement that PewDiePie just released this morning. Misrepresenting headlines of me has led me down a path of twist with mainstream media for years now. Previously, it hasn't bothered me much. I know who I am. But after the Christchurch travesty a few months ago, my own clash with mainstream media was manipulated as a tool for destruction. I'm not okay with this situation any longer and I felt responsibility to make changes. Making a donation to the ADL doesn't make sense to everyone, especially since they've outright spoken against me. I wanted to show publicly that I can move past it and move on. I think that it's important. This just isn't my fight anymore. So yeah, when I read PewDiePie's statement, I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I think this is important. Like so many things, like, like we hold grudges. As humans, 
we are just so awful at holding grudges against people. And I'm like, you know what? You go, Felix, you go, boy, right? Like showing your audience, showing everybody, like, listen, like, you can move past stuff, you can squash things, right? I saw some people like, a, you know, saying like, oh, maybe, you know, with PewDiePie's uh, sponsorship deal with Honey, they, they told him to do this as like a sign of good faith. And like, you know, just, I, I don't buy into conspiracies, right? I, I choose, I choose to think the best in these situations. So I choose to believe like PewDiePie is trying to move forward with this, right? But here's where this got concerning for me. So the Pepe the Frog thing was a while back. The, um, them trying to, you know, harm PewDiePie by, you know, getting Disney to sever ties with him, which ended up happening and everything like that. And he lost his, you know, uh, YouTube Red series and everything. Like, I was like, okay, this was a while back, but within the last month, ADL, and this is something that, you know, they've been working on for a while, like they have been working on deplatforming YouTubers. And that's not cool, all right? Like, you guys, I, I, I just made a video yesterday about hate mobs and everything like that, and I don't know how I can say this any clearer. Like, we need to be critical of one another. We have to be. We have to be around people who don't agree with us. Like, we have to. How else are we gonna get outside of our bubble and hear these things? Like, what's not okay is hate mobs, all right? Like, that isn't cool. Like, we need to have discussions like rational human beings, all right? But we're always gonna be critical of one another. But anyways, one of the issues is that ADL, just as recently as a month ago, like they're working on deplatforming people who have different views, opinions, and ideas of them. Like you guys, like I'm pretty damn liberal, all right? Like that's me, right? But I do not believe in the idea that people should be deplatformed or silenced just because I don't agree with them. I've told you guys about this book a million times, and if you haven't checked it out yet, please do. It's called The Coddling of the American Mind by Jonathan Haidt. Like one of the biggest issues that we've had, just it's been growing for you know years now, is that we're trying to isolate people into their own bubbles so they are protected against outside opinions. Like just because somebody else has a different opinion of you doesn't always mean that it's hate speech or it's you know them trying to cause harm to you and things like that. Like people are catastrophizing, they're blowing things up, right? Like listen, I'm speaking to you as somebody who has literally dozens of videos out there made about me, right? That have hundreds of thousands of views. Many of them have misinformation on them. And I would never, ever, ever, ever try to get those people deplatformed, ever. Because this is not how we, we work, especially in the United States, right? Like, I am a believer in not just free speech, but just sharing ideas and sharing opinions and people disagreeing on things. Like, we're not gonna progress anywhere if we just keep trying to silence everybody. So, although I see that PewDiePie is trying to move past this and everything, like, it, it seems, and obviously I don't know PewDiePie, I'm not in his brain, but it seems like he was more thinking about himself rather than the whole, right? And when I think about things and the actions I take and the, you know, the, uh, the opinions I have, the views I have, I'm trying to think about the greater good, right? So it's cool, like, if PewDiePie is trying to squash things with the ADL, like, that's dope, all right, for him. But my issue is, is that the ADL is actively still trying to deplatform other people in the community. So... I, I will give you the optimist outlook on this real quick. Maybe, maybe this is PewDiePie trying to get closer with them so they can work together, all right? Like maybe, maybe, like that is best case scenario in my mind, right? Like you, like we need to get inside and work with these organizations and have these discussions and everything. But when we just completely ice people out, that's not doing anybody any good. Like, in my opinion, it gives these organizations more power. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping to God 
that's what's happening with PewDiePie and he's gonna start working with them, all right, to get things to chill out. Because listen, like bullying and harassment is a big deal, but we can't run around saying that anybody who disagrees with you or has different opinions is like trying to bully you, all right? Like that's that's just not okay, especially, you know, for those of you who remember what happened with like the Carlos Maza and uh, Steven Crowder situation and everything like that, like, ah, like we need to move past this and understand like people are gonna say, say things and even if we think when they're saying things they're being a dick, it doesn't necessarily mean that they need to be deplatformed. Like people are allowed to be assholes. Like I have spoken out on my channel about people who are just outright dicks, right? But they have a right to be a dick. That is their, <laughs> their right, all right? But anyways, my final opinion on this is, um, I just think there's way more organizations that PewDiePie could have donated money to. Like this, this seemed, like it was very, like, you know, for him. I don't necessarily think it had something to do with Honey, but it seemed like it was for him, but like, he could have worked with a variety of different organizations. Like, he could have donated this money to mental health organizations, suicide prevention organizations, you know, things like, I don't know, even like the Trevor Project. Like, there were just so many organizations out there because now I believe the reason why people are upset and concerned about this is because he just gave $50,000 to an organization who is still actively trying to deplatform people who disagree with their views, with their opinions and things like that. And that, that is potentially dangerous. It is like giving, it, it's like giving somebody additional ammo to, to cause more harm. So I don't know, I would love to know your thoughts on this topic down in the comments below. Like, again, like I choose to believe the best in this situation, but I definitely understand why people are upset about this move that PewDiePie made, but I would love to hear from all of you. And I would also love to hear your thoughts and opinions on like criticism versus bullying or versus hate mobs and cancel culture, all right? Because we, in my opinion, we absolutely have to have criticism just in order for this world to function. How are we ever gonna grow and learn as people if we don't have people with different views than us? You know what I mean? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. Don't forget, check the description, check the pinned comment down below. Go check out the brand new amazing documentary from Paul Grossclose, The Road to 100 Million, about PewDiePie. Go check that out. All right, but if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And a huge thank you to everybody else who supports the channel by buying merch or my books and all that kind of good stuff. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.